Hello, I'm Andreas Weigand. I'm here at the University of California at Berkeley, where I teach in the School of Information. And I'm teaching a course called Social Data Revolution. One of the areas we're exploring is what social data does in finance. If you think about it, in some cases, your actions or which side of the street you're walking on when you're walking there might tell us more about you than you might even know yourself. That is for personal finance. Then in the bigger picture, on fund allocations, similar. What can all the data that we now observe, for instance, tax data, tell us? Let me give you a non-financial example. If we mine newspapers for the rainfall, and then half a year later we see that there is more malaria cases. That is an example of how big data actually allows us to make predictions beyond what the obvious is. So we'll look at all these different data sources. I'm going to talk about the DNA of different companies. Facebook's DNA, of course, is a platform where people create data. Google is a refinery where people analyze data wherever they can get them from. So at a speech at the United Nations General Assembly, I said, data is the new oil. And I was making the point that this data needs to be refined in order to create value. What are the rules of the refineries? What is the value the refineries provide? What machine learning techniques are actually really making a difference these days? And most importantly for me, what is the data that you should be looking at? I'm looking forward to discussing this in my keynote at Fund Forum in Berlin in June this year. Bis dann. Tschüss.